Uh, Wolno. Jim Wolno. Yeah. Okay, we're recording now, so tell me about thin ice. Okay, well, we kept, we were flying off of water all the time, and I'm always trying to get more endurance out of everything. you got to tell us where we're at first. We're in Brattleboro, Vermont, at, uh, you know, at the Retreat Meadows, which is a nice place, nice, still, quiet, watery place to fly things off of water. The Connecticut River. Uh, near the Connecticut River. Yes. And uh, so this thing, you know, is was made for the intent of doing takeoff water, land on water, five minute duration. So I built this thing and we were flying our other stuff every night for years and four years later, it appeared to be the right weather day to do this. And Mark and I took this out into the retreat meadow. We made a couple of test flights and then put some put some winds to it and send it up and it did five minutes and three seconds on its first real attempt and it's been put out to stud ever since. So. Ah, now Jim, wait though. You gotta tell me, so to do five minutes, say a little bit, I know it was a calm day. Okay, specs on the airplane. Uh, what's the span, the weight, 31, the prop? 31 span, 31 length, weight 12 grams, and, uh, prop 12 inches, Hand, uh, hand carved? 14, well, handmade. 14 inch pitch. Let's look at that prop. Okay. So, Jim, you're an, a, uh, an ex uh, indoor ornithopter guy. Yeah. And this stuff shows in this model. Okay, so what was the power plant you had in here? Uh, just one, uh, one loop of uh, one eighth rubber. Uh, how long? Uh, I don't really remember. Probably not much longer than the fuselage. And an ROW five minute flight. Yeah. That is this crazy, crazy And of course, you know, with these articulated landing gear that are sprung, these things, because they sit like this on the water. So what's holding your tail up when you're in the water? Is it just... It's floating. It's all mylar covered, so there's yeah. no tissue on this. This thing has been largely underwater before, and it didn't take on a drop. Really? And that's uh, how many mils on the mylar? It's a uh, two mil. Crazy stuff, Jim. Uh, no, it's a, yeah, it's a one-eighth mil, sorry. It's two microns. Two microns, which is a lot thinner than the normal five micron or three micron that you normally get. Yep. Wow. Great, Jim. Thank you. Okay, sure.